Paul, we'll talk about the result first. What does it mean to the lads to, to add the away win to the, the home wins that we've had? Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great to uh, get an away win, whatever it is. Obviously, these are a good side as well, but it's a great feeling to have around the, the changing room. And uh, obviously, when you come in from a, like a hard-fought win away from home at a good, good club, it makes it a lot better as well. And it's a team performance as well, isn't it? The lads can get into that dressing room and they know that everybody's worked hard. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be uh, crazy to see them uh, stats, what the running did today, the boys. Um, but some of the boys have covered some ground, man. We are a fit team and we've got to use that to our advantage. Might as well get straight to it. There's obviously no accident that you're out here as the keeper doing the interview. Penalty save, what's that like? Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, even my wife's been taking the mic out of me about saving pens. I haven't saved one in a while, but I've managed to save one and uh, it's great to uh, it's been put towards, obviously, a win. Might be a daft question. Do you back yourself in those situations? I think you've always got to have you in any situation. Um, it's your job. It's very cliche when you're called upon. Obviously, you've got to do your best to save it, but yeah, it's been um, a while since I've saved one and it did feel good. Just before you came on camera, you were saying that you do look at players, whether it's Tom Pope or whoever, as to how they take penalties. Does that help? Yeah, you've got, I mean, you've got to look. You, well, I, I mean, I didn't really look at too much, but uh, his last pen against me was down the middle, so I don't really like to watch pens before games or see what the history is or see any videos, so I like to go off my gut instinct. And after you've done your bit, you've got John Mellish, you've got Aaron Hayden coming in to help out as well. Again, that's a sign of what this team's about yeah, at the quality. moment. It's quality. Um, when lads are willing to put the bodies on the line and pull each other out of like sticky moments where I've saved it, it's come back inside. But obviously, my eyes have lit up as it's come towards me and I've managed to get a good good contact on it. And uh, obviously, I think, I think it was Mellish got the last one, but you wouldn't expect anyone else to be putting his body on the line, would you? So... And these clean sheets, Paul, they're racking up at the moment, particularly in the league. Yeah, every keeper and uh, manager, goalkeeping coach, team, like like a clean sheet, uh, shows you're working hard, do you know what I mean? Um, and makes me happy when I go home on a Saturday night. Unbelievably crazy pre-season, I think we spoke to you about that, but do you feel like the lads, and particularly the defensive unit, are starting to come together now? Yeah, I think it, it, it is always hard when there's a lot of change in a, in a club, and um, even, like, there's so many new faces, wasn't there? And uh, it is going to take... Time, time to to click and obviously, but it it is looking it's looking good at the minute. Um, a lot of it's understanding, isn't it? Uh, understanding each other in the game, um, even in training when you're working on stuff. What what side I favour, which whichever they're going to pass back to me. So yeah, it, it, it's it's gelling nicely at the minute. It was interesting to hear the gaffer talk about when we were at the early games when we conceded a couple of goals that he hadn't seen you make make a save. Mm. It was a crazy situation, wasn't it? Yeah, it's mental. Like, I think we went through. It was two games where we were concede six and I, like I couldn't get near a thing but sometimes it happens like that but we, we've worked hard on the training pitch uh, on many things to, to eradicate that uh, them say mistakes or, or um, goal scoring situations from a different team and I thought when we put in a shift like that and everyone works for each other and willing to put the bodies on the line I think there's only one thing that can come of it what you've shown with a situation like that is you don't let it affect your confidence you just keep doing what you do yeah I mean I've worked hard throughout my full career I've had to work hard it's just the way it is I enjoy it if you don't enjoy working hard it's always um, it's like a if, if you don't enjoy working hard it's the best part of it for me like coming in every day and grafting do you know what I mean leaving it all out there and I don't want to be looking back at uh, my career and thinking I've, I've uh, shied away from any hard work Let's not hide away from this one to win games. That helps the enjoyment factor. That helps you really enjoy coming to work every day. Yeah, especially um, when we ain't got a game Tuesday. I'll have a nice Sunday dinner tomorrow, so that'll make uh, the gravy taste a bit better as well. What's the dressing room like up there? This is one of the fancied sides. There's been no hiding away from that. They've got back in, they've, they've got signings, they've got all of that that goes with it. And we've come here and done a job on them. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean, hard work. Hard work, sometimes you'll work hard and you could get beat 2-0, 1-0. But we've come today, worked hard, um, Got John Marsh another goal. Wasn't it? it was John Monet, sure. Um, he scored another goal through through his determination, purely from how much he's willing to run for this team and everyone else. Like I say, the stats the stats must be pretty impressive, and I think the lads will look forward to seeing them one day. And for yourself, you got Magnus back to full fitness now. Your Marcus will come back from his international duty. There's there's no cut and dried decision that you'll get the shirt. No, you got. That's what I said. You like, see, you've got to work hard. If you come off it, is a uh, not punishment what's the word for it when you're not working hard you, you don't get you don't reap your rewards and that's what I mean we, we'll push each other and it's been in really I've enjoyed the training since we've all been back and like you say with Steve as well makes it enjoyable thanks for your time Paul no. 